Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff. Okay, so I have a new recipe for you guys to try. It's my version of huevos rancheros. Wait till you see the photos. This dish is absolutely beautiful, tons of color. Uh, it's an awesome uh, dish to do on the weekend with family and friends if you guys are hosting somebody. I think everybody will love it. Uh, I think this is kind of the quintessential breakfast, brunch, kind of weekend dish. So enjoy. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe or hit like for us, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, this black bean huevos rancheros. You're gonna absolutely love it. Okay, so start with some of your vegetables and you're gonna see them roasting there in that um, stainless steel pan that I have. You have tomatoes, jalapeno, a couple of sweet peppers, half an onion, and some garlic. Okay, you're just gonna kind of roast them lightly and a little bit of olive oil. Probably about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of olive oil. You don't need a lot, just make sure to move the pan around so the vegetables don't burn. You'll see in that black pan next to me, that little saute pan, I started to saute some, the other half of that onion and some olive oil. Okay, so you're just gonna kind of slowly sweat those out or saute them lightly. You're gonna add garlic and then you're gonna add half of that can of green chilies. Okay, so you have onion, garlic, and green chilies in that little saute pan. Pretty easy so far. And all you're doing is just making sure in the stainless steel roasting pan there that you're moving those vegetables around so they don't burn. Okay, so next you're just going to take your black beans and add your black beans to the saute pan. So now you have black beans, onion, garlic, and chilies, and you're just going to kind of, um, you know, keep those warm, turning them over every once in a while, but you don't want them to burn and beans will cook quickly. So you want to kind of keep it on low heat. So now we move back to that roasting pan. We're taking those amazing vegetables that now have a little little kind of browning to them, little car caramelization. You're going to take them and you're going to add them to either a blender or a few food processor. I use a blender. So I take all of those veggies and I put them in that little blender. Now the only uh, exception to that is you're going to cut off the ends of those, those bell peppers so you don't get that fibrous kind of bitter end to a pepper in your mixture. So cut those off. That includes the jalapeno. You can see the jalapeno too if you want and then just add that to your blender. What I'm doing there is I'm taking one kind of big heaping, um, maybe a whole cup of cilantro and added that to the blender as well. So you blend that up, you're gonna get kind of this amazing mixture of uh, garden fresh salsa, and then you're gonna add it back to your roasting pan. So you can see in that photo there, I just kind of dumped it back out into that same pan that I was roasting the veggies in. Okay, so now I move back to the saute pan and I just added a little fresh lime to those beans. So that gives you a little bit of moisture and texture to kind of flip those beans around. And, uh, and I have the salsa that I just emptied from the blender warming in that saute pan. Pretty easy, right? So moving on to the tortillas. I don't fry my tortillas for this dish. I think <clears throat> part of it is just I want to be um, as healthy as I can be. I am using cheese, which I don't always do. Um, you could, uh, of course, substitute with cashew cheese or fake cheese if you wanted. Uh, but basically, you're going to put that mozzarella in between the a tortilla or on top of tortilla, a tortilla, and then you're going to add a second tortilla on top of that. So you have two tor tortillas, one that has a little cheese on it, then you put the second one on top of it, and then I made a batch for, for myself and for Sahar, so we have two plates that I'm gonna plate, so I had four tortillas total. One, cheese on top of it, second layer of the tortilla, you just brush it with a little bit of olive oil, and then you'd see the second one, which I did exactly the same. Just put those in the oven <clears throat> at 300 degrees for 15 minutes or so, and just kinda of let that cheese melt and let the top of that tortilla get crispy. You saw in that last picture that I was just basically um, stirring that sauce a little bit so it didn't burn and that's just to make sure that that it doesn't get uh, too thick if it does start to get thick on you just add a little bit of warm water 
not a ton. You don't want to dilute the taste, but just add a little bit to, to kind of uh, keep that, that portion of it liquid. So you're going to see now that I'm plating the tortillas first. So we're getting to the point now where I'm going to show you how to dress this thing up so it looks absolutely beautiful. So you take the tortilla, put it on the plate. It's going to have a nice uh, crispy layer on top. And then you, what you're going to do is you're going to start adding that black bean mixture. So I kind of put that black bean mi mixture over the tortillas and it kind of sets it up, sets up the plate for everything else that you're going to do to it. So moving on next, you're going to see that I have that black beans kind of layered over the tortilla, not over the entire plate. The majority of it's going to be on your baked tortilla. Then you take that amazing kind of garden fresh salsa that's nice and warm that's been on your, um, your range there, kind of staying warm. And I like to ladle it over the black beans, kind of almost in a circle, working from the middle to the outside of the plate. Pretty simple. Next, um, obviously, you can kind of see that I'm putting the finishing touches on getting to the exterior of the plate. You just kind of taken that mixture and you've kind of got it all over that black bean, which is on top of that tortilla, a nice cheesy tortilla. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is so good. You're going to love it. Okay, so then the next steps, um, it's, it's all pretty simple. I went back, I wiped down that saute pan that I had the black bean mixture in and um, got it nice and clean. And then I added a little bit of uh, olive oil. You could use butter if you wanted. Uh, and then I, I'm going to fry an egg. So uh, this is one of the final steps. You just get kind of that egg ready and fried. And you're going to put that on top of the mixture there. You can see how I plated an egg on one of them already. Um, during that time, I had been taking some orange pepper, red pepper, and, um, and yellow bell peppers, chopped them up, and I've kind of sprinkled those alongside and around that mixture on top of that mixture. It gives it a pop of color, and I kind of like how a fresh bell pepper has a little bit of a crunch to it, so it kind of gives this, um, the, this particular dish a nice little crunch. Now, you take uh, the second half of your chilies, your green chilies, and you lay those on top of the egg. You can see me doing that right now in the photo. And, uh, and then I just garnish with some fresh cilantro. I'll take some fresh cilantro and sprinkle it along the plate. That's what gives it that cool pop of color. This thing is so easy to do, guys. I know it looks complicated, but it's because I walked you through so slowly each and every step. The more you practice it, the more it'll, uh, better it will be for you and the easier it will be. So enjoy. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing it. I'm happy to share. And uh, if you liked the video, please hit like or subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.